Hi, it's Debbie with another Squidgy tutorial. And today we're going to work on the movie theater frame digital backdrop. When you get your folder, you're going to open all the things and then take out your photo. The first thing we're going to do is go to number two. And this is the picture mask. So we're going to use the move tool. And anywhere in here, you're going to click and drag over and let it go in here. Then do Command and Control T to fit it to where the other rectangle is. Then you can either push enter or this checkbox. Then we're going to go over to your photo. And then you're going to do anywhere in the photo. Click it, move it on over. It's going to look big, but that's okay. We're going to go anywhere in this area. Right click and do create clipping mask. Command and Control T to resize it. And we're going to adjust to where you need it. And we're going to do the checkbox. The next step is number three, which is the dark overlay. And do the same thing. Move it on over. Drop it anywhere in here. Command and Control T. And put it where you need it. And then the checkbox and what's nice about these is that you can adjust the opacity so if it's too dark you can lower it. The next one's the spotlight and same thing grab it on over bring it over let it go command and control T and put it right here checkbox and then with anything with the black overlay what you do is change the mode to screen and same thing with this if you want to change the opacity you can. The next step is the text and this is what it looks like. I don't Put my photography name so I'm just gonna hide that for now and then we're gonna keep the now showing and then this will change you just gotta click on it and I'm gonna write my dog's name Lily and also here is where you can change the text size um, whoops okay sorry gotta hold on to it there we go do the text size or you can change the text you know format and all this other stuff when you're done you push OK then you can do command control T and move it over to straighten it if you'd like or move it down whichever you know put it whichever way you want you do the checkbox anywhere in this um, area right click you're gonna flatten then this is showing up because I hit the first one here so you just push OK and then anywhere here just move it on over like everything else and then drop it let it go same thing over here change it to screen command control T and you move it over and then the checkbox. And then if you do decide, oh, I don't really like this color or whatever, while you're here with the text, you can still click on it here. Oh, maybe you still have to, maybe you have to change it in here. But like I say, you don't want the different color, you can click on it. Um, I think it's because I flattened it. So do it before you flatten. You can change the color and do, you know, different font styles, whatever you want. But yeah, that's basically it. And then you just, anywhere in here, you gotta right click and then you flatten and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.